What is up? What is up? Oh shit, where's my earphones? Hang on. Yo, Hostel, Austin, Dude Man, Polycount, thank you for the host. You guys are the bestest. How's everyone doing? Oh, I have a, where's it at? I started writing down the plans for the, uh, the substance breakdown. Not only the material, but like um, answering all the little questions that you guys were asking about. When it came, when it came to how to, how to make substance stuff, like I'm, I'm by no means a pro, a pro at it, but um, I'll plug my earphones. I'm missing the glasses. Oh my god. Oh, it feels. I'm gonna need those, or I'm gonna get a headache. I'll be right back. So, gets his wish, oh my god, it's real. Uh, so what was, I, what was I saying? I was saying, uh, so I'm still working on the breakdown for the Gumroad substance thing. Um, and then I asked you guys some questions about what, I have a little thing here, what to uh, put on the Gumroad. And you guys wanted some generators. Or I was talking about making some generators and we listed out some generator ideas and uh, so I'll be doing that stuff I'll be doing a video on edge decals this is all like over the course of like two months or something like that right maybe three months even there's a lot of stuff here uh, edge decal video beginning to like in unreal um, lighting in unreal like just the basics and like what to think about with UVs and how light maps work in Unreal. Just from like a basic basic level. I'm not like a pro at that, but I can pretty easily cover how to get a result that doesn't look like shit. <laughs> um, and then the video about basic steps and stuff. And then I wanted to turn that into this larger video that I'll probably put on Gumroad as like a multi-part thing. So we'll go over the UI, important things to know, uh, like blender time boys <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll look at uh, what nodes are important and like kind of I'll probably do a really basic breakdown of like um, like what the blend node is what the height to normal node is what type of filters are on that like AO HB HBAO node histogram range how you use that why it's why it's awesome the height blend node uh, the noise, directional, directional warp, and how you can utilize that to break up your tiling. Things to get rid of uh, the procedural look. Uh, generators as a concept, as well as creating a few basic generators, which will probably go back to some of the generators that you guys listed out, like gum, seagull poop. That's a good one. Um, combining height maps. Uh, approaches to roughness. And uh, albedo, what is too dark, what is too bright, what is too saturated? Like those are things that people tend to uh, uh, hit too bright or too dark often. 
And then uh, map importance, like while making your material, what is the important important maps to hit first? And I, I mean, you guys have heard me say it on the stream before, but I'll, I'll do it in the video. That way it's, it's kind of covered as like an overall overarching thing. And then some like interesting shortcuts, like um, when you have a blend node and you press X with the two inputs that it flips them, stuff like that. Tequila, thanks for the host, man. How are you guys doing, by the way? I have like I am like packed on caffeine right now, as you can tell. I'm just like as I open up a can a can of energy drink. It's real. Uh, and all this stuff will be free. I mean, I will appreciate your donations, but uh, I'm just gonna put it up there. I assume that if it's good enough, you guys will f be. Uh, wanting to give me money. <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll make some of it paid, but I don't see it getting crazy, uh, crazy expensive at all. I would like it to stay rather low. We'll see. Make me pay. I mean, I'll put a suggested, I'll put a suggested amount in there. How about that? Or like a minimum that's, that's really small. <laughs> Yeah, the main reason is uh, if you're a student, like, dude, I was, I, I get that, man. I was there. If you can somehow, like, oh, I won't even suggest that. Don't even, I didn't say anything. Anyways, what I'm going to be working on today is I'm going to start, uh, so we got some rubble pieces. And if you remember, we blocked them out in Unreal in our little, little scene. which we've coined the gym. Oh, your current song is not working. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, hang on. Oh, new user agreements. What have I done? Uh, okay. <laughs> Always read those kids. It's working now. All right, cool. Dude, motos. Yes. So how's everyone doing? Everything cool? Everything good? Actually, I uh, didn't get a chance to uh, eat my dinner. <laughs> I was just like, oh, no, we're doing this. Maybe I'll take a break halfway through the stream if I get hungry. We'll see. Anyway, so we, like on the last stream, we were talking about uh, making some shapes that are actually pretty good for, I wonder if I can just change the color of the uh, of this guy. Making some rubble shapes that are going to be good for breaking up everything. No, you read it right. Moto's pretty expensive. They have a sale about twice, twice a year, or yeah, twice a year. Uh, during the Thanksgiving or Black Friday sale, they usually are about forty percent off, which is pretty freaking. That's pretty good, man. So is this is this the one? What is this one? Is this the one I'm looking at? Let's see if I can do this to emphasize. No? All right, cool. Just, uh... Wait, for reals? Hang on here. Aha, that's not what I thought it was.
Oh, what am I? Of course, I'm looking at lighting only. Nice. I'm like, why isn't it changing color? Ah. <laughs> ah. Blender is free. What's up, Kyle? Simp? Uh, tequila? Bijan? Uh, what else we got? Stava? Or Stavas? Is it Stavas? Is that, how it's, is that how you say it? Curious Antics? What's up, Antics? Gonna go with the unlit. Let's let's do that. We'll do unlit. We'll make this start out. Something like that. Oh, you can't, uh, I could go into the object and do this, but uh, I'm just going to do it this way because these are blockouts and I'm not, like, whatever. You can probably assign. No. Almost done, anyways. Anyways, so. We talked about making a few uh, shapes that are pretty common to, uh, to how how you break up a scene. Like you've got this long straight one, you've got uh, this corner one, which kind of builds up. Um, got long straight one and the kind of round one. If we go to the lighting only, or maybe detail lighting could be interesting. Oh, uh, no. Um, and then the ones where they're just kind of random by themselves. You say it like Star Wars without the R's? Star Wars? Really? Interesting. That's an interesting way to describe it. Anyway, so uh, we got all these breakup stuff, and I probably won't get to the dirt stuff under it today, but the idea is to use substance to make a tileable, like, rubbly rock PC stuff with a good height map. That way we can get uh, some good parallax. And then we can also get a really good blend to blend it out as it goes off the edge here. So your V sounds like a W. Interesting. Okay, so now that we have that, I can just go through, I can show you. So here's one, here's one, this one. This one will probably extend the edge of this in a little or out a little bit further this way so that you get some good clipping into your in the rest of the scene and the lonely one here so we have one two let's say let's say four shapes so what we'll do is we'll we'll block out four shapes we'll bring in a zbrush and just do a quick like uh ding up of those pieces and we'll get them on the mesh and we'll get a tileable rock on here and then, and then it'll probably be time to uh, look at your guys' stuff. Pixel depth? No, probably just classic um, uh, parallax. I mean, maybe displacement. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure yet. I gotta see what I gotta see what it looks like. I gotta see what the performance is like. We shall see. So let's let's grab these four pieces. Make a new scene. These don't have to be perfect either, by the way. I'm just going to kind of get them roughly where they need to be, as far as like a little straight. We'll turn this one just so I look at it differently. Ooh, 
Whoa, look at that. That's some skewage. We don't want that. Well, we don't want too much of it. It won't really matter all that much. That one was just a little extreme. So how are you guys doing? Anything crazy happening in your worlds? You know, one thing I need to get used to is, do you see how like I wanted to move all these things? So I like select some of it, double click the background with the shift held down, and it selects all the faces, and then you can move it up and down. But I always forget that uh, if you're in like edge, uh, vertice, edge, or face selection, if you don't have anything selected, you have everything selected. Uh, John, I use, so I use um, Moto at work as well. I got lucky and have a studio, uh, uh, joined a studio that, that allows for Moto use alongside with Maya and 3ds Max. All right, let's, um, oh yeah, I need to make a hockey for this. Uh, exporting, export selected layers as a OBGA, OBJ Dizzle, Rubble, F, uh, let's see, Rubble underscore F, FZB, which is for ZBrush. I started using the F, FZB and uh, FM for for Moto or for Retopo. So F R T. And it's just kind of like sticking my head. Anyway, so it's scripting history to. Selection export selected this guy. There we go. So I should be able to select that, do that, and then export. Nice. Okay, ZBrush. Oh, yeah, we should get some reference up too, huh? 2ZB, nice. Dude, it, it, it helps a lot, because then it the, your folders get 4Z. Yeah, it, it gets crazy sometimes how much stuff is in your folder, like 4Bake, high poly, HP, 4Bake. Stuff can get out of hand really quick. You know? You know? What's up? Steven, what does UV packaging do? You mean like UV packing or uh, what specifically are you? UV, UV unwrapping in general is kind of like uh, if you were to take a cardboard box and like unwrap it and just open it all up. Like you're gonna draw on cardboard but you wanna have all of it like displayed. So UV packing is like this. I'll give you a quick example. So if you have all these faces, right? And oh, sometimes this happens. I need to ask about why this happens. But uh, for some reason, I can't access the UV view from here. I'll just go to the one that exists traditionally. Oops. So here's your, these are your boxes, right? You do a, uh, Let's do like UV unwrap on uh, Atlas. So you click there and you have all these pieces. These are all the different sides of your mesh, right? So, and then UV packing is selecting all these and then uh, you can do this manually, which you'll get uh, good results doing it manually because you'll utilize the space. So packing is utilizing all the space in this, like I'm like, in this space here. This is your zero to one space. So if you're not, uh, all the space you're not using is pixels being wasted on your textures that could be on geometry, technically, right? 
So what people are talking about when they say packing is pack UVs, put like a gap of like 10%. And so these are all now packed in the zero to one space and all of this space in here, this is area is not being utilized. So just so you know, this is, would be a, this would be an okay pack. The more you utilize this space and the less stretching you have in your textures or like your UVs. So like if this is way out here, this now, this side is now misrepresented shape wise and you will get stretching. Um, but yeah, so the better you have UVs packed in that zero to one space, the better you have of a UV pack. That is UV packing. Nutshell uh, approach to it, but yeah. There we go. Okay, everything's back. So nice. Okay, so we got these guys. We exported out the OBJ for them. When it packs 50% empty in your UV space, it usually means that you have a UV island that's really long and it can't do it, like it can't figure that out. So like you gotta like either split it somewhere down the center of it or cut it down somehow so that it's not as long. And then you will notice you get a, a much better pack. Let's see here. Uh, UV packing is a requirement of 3D game art production. It's also a requirement of film in 3D. It's like, it's one of those fundamentals that you currently have to know. I assume that in the near future that's going to go away. Nope. Let's see here. Okay, so low polys. Low patalis, um, need to get the reference out. One can only dream, dude, someday it's coming. I think uh, procedural modeling is going to happen first and it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If the thing knows what it's modeling, it's going to know how to unwrap it, right? or at least unwrapping is going to become much easier to be automated because the mesh is being automated. You could have an auto island, essentially, what it's chipping away at for things like chipstone. Okay, where the hell? I need my quadro. Local image. Sorry guys, a little bit of setup time here. Oh, uh, I was talking about this at work today. When you guys have a question for me, try using at uh, Dynasty. That way I, I know that the, the question is directed at me and not towards someone in chat. Or else I'll like jump right in on your, whatever you're asking and probably get half of it wrong because I have no context. <laughs> It'll make it easier, I think, for me to catch your questions. Uh, reference, there we go. Oh yeah, I already forgot what the hotkey was to so keep it always on top, so. <laughs> Great. This guy looks stoked. This guy looks so stoked. Okay, so those pieces are pretty big. We're not, we're not looking for pieces that large. We need, we need these little guys. That guy's like, what's happening? Complex cars or props? Uh, currently, I don't think you could. Um, I mean, I think as, as we get better at uh, scanning things, if we can automate scanning, like imagine, imagine some drone flying around taking pictures of an object that you've marked. That could get kind of crazy. That's like future stuff though. This is not a very good picture for what I'm looking for.
but yeah, I think in general, like the, the simpler things, like the stuff that's kind of like things you don't want to deal with or like they're like the tedious smaller things, like these little things I'm about to sculpt, this is going to take me like, I don't know, a couple hours to get it in game with the textures and all that stuff looking good. It's A, thanks tequila. Thanks man. So you click A, cool, I'll we'll close this one. So this, this image is a little better. So there's some little, these guys, not so crazy of course. Yeah, Houdini is probably where a lot of that early procedural stuff is going to come from, or at least the foundation for the industry is going to come from Houdini, unless something else comes along that's uh, easier to look at and is intuitive. Never know. So we'll just like hammer these guys out. I think uh, I'm gonna see if I can use the Z modeler. Oh. Gonna delete some of these edges. Oh man, this tool's weird. Okay. I think I need to get rid of this one too. Oh, before I do this, let's split these let's split these guys up. So polygroup. Auto groups. Sub so tool split group split. There we go. Want this guy. And then we want to bevel this edge. Whoa, not like that. Oh, why can't I just. I do move. Yeah. Partial? No. No. Oh, interesting. Split. Man, this, this tool I want to get way better at because it's super cool. Spin edge. Extrude polygroup Z monitor. Da, da, da. Probably just gonna do this. Call it call it good. Like, oh my god, what's he doing? This is so gross. Probably could have done this in uh in moto. But I'm just doing it because it came to mind now. Okay. So weird. Alright. Dynamesh, we gotta get this guy over here. We'll go with 0.5, I don't think we're gonna need more. Uh, I do not use Z modeler very much, this, which is why I was like, "Why the hell is this not working?" Uh, it's cool though. I wanna, I wanna know more. You know. So 
these guys, we're not going to worry too much about how they look. We just want to make sure that they have some, some interesting stuff going on them. And we got to get rid of these, this geometric stuff that's happening, these edges. So this is the stuff I'm doing right now. I saw uh, online with uh, Magnus Larson over at Machine Games showing off some some real time, or not real time. It's probably being generated, but uh, this being automated by Houdini, which is fucking cool. So this is what I'm doing here is going to become like a thing of the past at some point in the near future, I'm assuming. I'm trying not to care too much, just make something. General tips on game design. That's uh. What the hell is going on? That's a that's an interesting question because I, I mean. There aren't any really general tips. I don't know. I know Chris is in here. He might have something to say about that. But. Uh, a general tip is just steady it, like uh, look around online find find sources to talk about game design and because it's not like there's no real I feel like there's no real general tips on it you know what I mean double my document size is it killing you is it bugging the hell out of you <laughs> Still going to be pretty far away. <laughs> See, the more uh, screen space your geometry takes up, the more your uh, CPU takes a hit. All right, this should be this. This looks fine. Pure experience and knowledge. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so... Let's see here. I'm going to duplicate this one. Baxter, what's going on? How you doing? to decimate this. Working on your scene, Chris.
Probably save this, huh? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's some really good advice, Chris. Tuki, thank you for the host. Thank you, thank you. Oh man. If you guys would like, you can tweet you can tweet for me cuz I didn't do it. Don't feel obligated to though. I need to uh, get better about doing that. I'm terrible at uh, tweeting tweeting my infos. Abel, I'm gonna call you Abel. Sell out, sell out. You you want me to? I can stop and just do it. <laughs> I mean, I could do it. It's okay. It's like, hey guys, I'm gonna give you all these free videos. Do not call me a sellout. I'll choke you. <laughs> Yes, I want to lurk. <laughs> mm. You had one job. I was so busy today at work, I did not have time to really look at Discord all that much. interesting happen form that, that break is. Do you name the rocks? Like oh yeah this this one this one looks like a Josh. This 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 rock's name is Josh. Looks like a Josh, right? Yeah, I'm thinking Josh. Whoops. There we go. Too far, you've gone too far. Actually, one thing I'm noticing is I need to, uh, to 
I'm going to need to crease these edges before moving forward. Rocks bark. <laughs> oh, God. No things you name bark at you. So you can see right now what I'm doing is polishing it and then I'm going to run the uh, decimation master on it. Polishing will help uh, emphasize the major creases. You use a mouse most of the time when you're sculpting? Uh, I have. Right now I'm using a pen. I mainly use a pen because chat gave me a hard time about it. <laughs> No, uh, pressure sensitivity is pretty nice, man. You can do some nice things with that. Whoa, look at this bad boy in here. Ugh. Oh God, hang on. Well, I think rerunning decimation or dynamish on this. Yeah, it's gonna give us a cleaner result. There we go. Now we'll process it. So you get some overlapping geo. I thought I heard some clicks. That's me just tapping like furiously. Just t -t 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 so angry. T -t -t -t. Take that, Wacom. Whoops, I just hit decimate all. The joys of uh, the joys of the jazz. Wonder what ended up happening because of that. Well, this guy looks higher poly now. <laughs> Okay, that, that actually turned out better. Let me see if we can turn this up. Yeah, that should be fine. This is fine. Let it flow through you. All right, so that should be an okay version of that one. This guy actually needs to be reprocessed because of that shenanigans. Whoa, easy. Okay, sure. Sure. Oh, that's cool. Looking good, guys. Mm. I love using brush. Maybe I don't tell it that I care for it enough. Maybe I need to tell it that I care more. Let's see how... Nope. Yeah, that's not... Okay, hang on. Uh, open. Okay, now we're... We've stepped back a bit, guys. <laughs> I think I only had one done. Any advice on making a... Just sculpt in moto? Get out of here. Any advice on making the jump from small studios to, to AAA? Um...
I would say that you just need to be showing that you know like current gen processes like uh, PBR what's up Justin so like advice on making the jump from small studio. so when you say small studio are you meaning like a studio of a small team or you mean like a, like a mobile like what type of games are you making because it'll I mean when it comes down to it I think you're just gonna need a good portfolio showing a uh, current current gen processes like PBR based texturing understanding of things like substance designer or substance painter building out scenes uh, do you want to be a prop artist or do you want to be an environment artist stuff like that Uh, I did not export them as a high poly mesh. I was just saving the scene, which I actually failed to do earlier. I don't even think I will need this right now. Oh man, crazy flying lab and zombie. Yeah, man. Where where are you at? Where are you? What studio are you at? And also, sorry if I miss your messages. I'm going to try and focus on getting this stuff. Oh, shit. One, 1. 1.5 million. Let's do this. You're an environment artist? Well, I would just say um, get a portfolio going. I'm just going to dynamish all these. That uh, displays your your skills for triple A development. That's kind of, it sounds kind of broad, I know, but. Um, building some scenes out would be really good. Showing lighting, showing really good composition, nice execution on uh, props within the scene. These are all like solid, solid directions to take for building a strong portfolio for a triple A studio. Especially if your portfolio can be uh, guided towards what the studio is is doing. It's like if you wanted to work on the division, like maybe you should be building some like uh, city stuff. Like, are you interested in replicating reality? Because you gotta be, right? You gotta be to enjoy that stuff. Let's see if we can hammer through this. Hollow Spark. Oh man, yeah. Awesome. You actually have quite a bit of friends over there. Are you, uh, are you actually at work right now? I'm not going to forget to save this time. Let's get a unique side here. Hmm. Not really a fan of what's going on here. There we go, that works. Some weird ass shapes don't really happen in reality. There we go. Sure. 
You're at work right now? Nice. Should share your uh, share the link out of the stream to your spam email and see if we can get some familiars in here. That'd be funny. Don't do it though if you'll get yelled at and be like, what? Why are you watching streams? You're supposed to be working. Is this my own brush? Uh, kinda. I mean, so if you press a little comma key and you go to your uh, brush and then uh, you go to trim and then you go to trim smooth border, double click that guy, give the alpha a square, cause it'll start with uh, no alpha. Give it a square alpha with a little bit of a gradient on there. It's like soft alpha. And then uh, lower your opacity down to somewhere around like 65 or so. Uh, and then save the brush. Name it and you've created a brush. I really, I really like this brush, and I, I noticed that I kept going back to it, but like, uh, sitting there and like, adding the alpha every time I would start ZBrush, I'd add the alpha, then change the intensity. It's like you know what? I just need to save this. I need to save it as a brush. Anywho, uh, okay, let's save this. Duplicate, we'll make our low poly. Just gonna run a Dynamesh on top of it again. That way we don't we don't have any weird like geometry creasing. And we'll process it for decimation. Oh that Justin, that is top secret, buddy. Sorry to say. <laughs> But pretty cool announcement, right? Love this studio. We'll do that in, uh, oh, there's some other weird ones in here. We'll do that in Emoto. Just look around and note them. I love the idea. Awesome. So I think I will go through, I will sculpt, whoops, I'll sculpt these ones out. And then, uh, and then we'll make the low polys for these ones. We'll do an unwrap, we'll do a quick bake in Substance. Might add some details to the, to the high polys to try and imply that they're part of like a bigger object prior to, to being Rebel. What am I doing? There we go.
Magical. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Empire. The Empire greets you. I just realized my stream says that I'm in substance. That's, uh, that is wrong. I can change that from my phone now, which is pretty nice. Thanks, Twitch. God damn it, I have to get Authenticator. They texted me the code. So how are you guys doing? Chat's pretty quiet, you guys just listening? Listening to me blab on about random? <laughs> Call it rubble for days with din. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Man, I'm being hosted by eight people. You guys are awesome. go working while listening nice how you doing you wonder what's gonna happen to Josh the rock well he's gonna get crushed here in a second so one of my goals is to spend less time doing this so we gotta we gotta crush through this thing If you guys, uh, if anyone's new here, uh, we have a little Discord community. Wireless headset for the wind, dude, awesome. I'm traveling through the air in your apartment. How does it feel? You got a 48 hour art test? Joe, what the hell, man? What studio is putting you through that? That's intense. That's intense, dude. Yeah, that's pretty raw, dude. I don't know. I don't know about that. What's up, you gal? Yeah, I had a, 
I had an art test. I've had some serious art tests that have taken like weeks to do. And then they're like, nah, sorry, man. But then they don't tell you like, uh, like what you did wrong. You know, I mean, at least do that for people. That'd be cool. Uh, so I'm making some little rubble pieces that are going to be scattered around the ground in the temple scene. We're just going to hammer out uh, like a, I guess you'd call them first pass, because I need to do more of that in my scene before taking everything to like this, this finished state. Uh, gamer, those the art test question that you have, those vary studio to studio because it's it's really it's up to the studio. Um, but yeah, my personal belief is uh, our test shouldn't take too long. That's just me though. Like I, our art test should be there to show me that you are good for the job. If your portfolio does not prove that. So like the more time you're in the industry, right? The hope is, is that your portfolio would be good enough that you wouldn't need to be tested. That's, that's my view on it. Uh, is there t some type of generator that can do this type of breakup? Yeah, uh, Houdini. Uh, it's going to take more than just a plug and play, though, for sure. It's all good. We're, we're going to get a lot of reuse out of these guys. That end, I mean. I'm at home, you know, doing my own personal work. It feels nice to just kind of enjoy, enjoy the sculpt. But yeah, Houdini is definitely uh, some stuff that I've seen recently is showing showing some some nice process for this type of stuff. crush this corner. Uh, when I'm sculpting, it's just kind of, it's like once you get used to it, it's just like playing with clay. You're just thinking about like what to do. You're not, you're not worrying too much about like the technical, like how the hell am I supposed to, you know, you can just kind of go, which is nice, especially with Dynamesh. It's good. It's good. It feels nice. The other thing is we don't know how useful these are going to be. Like the hope is that they'll be pretty useful, but from what I've learned, every time you make, like so, what we're doing is we're building these pieces out, right? Here, I'll show you. Um, and they'll be scattered on top of these these setups, these little like pieces, and then those are scattered uh, throughout the scene. You can see here. 
So like by these being scattered about, like it gives you the ability to break up a scene really easily. And so I'll just sculpt out of like four pieces and then those will get baked and then scattered across these these four four or five pieces. What what am I like yeah, four pieces. So four pieces for four pieces. So I'm just kind of hammering out some some little uh, chunks that I can use for the that. The other thing we can do too is this type of stuff. Uh, the brush I'm using is just one that I set up using a previous uh, previous brush. What happened to the temple? Oh my god. No, this is like, uh, it's my little gym area. It's just uh, lighting only. It's just, a, it's a good way to show like a test, a test space for you trying all your random stuff in, you know? It's a good area to showcase all of your random props and how they're interacting with each other. You can test things out without worrying about like messing up the composition of your scene if you have, if you have one. So the shape of that one is pretty cool, just because it's so, so different. So I think I want to do that with this one. Take this side and we'll go further with it. Yeah, this brush is cool because if you use the inverse, it grabs the, uh, the normal direction from the plane that you select on and you can kind of undo like that you can kind of undo shapes and stuff like that which is pretty cool all right cool Save this out. Let's so this is a high poly. That's the low for it. This is a high poly. That's the low for it. So we need to make a low for these last two. So what I did is duplicated it. Run a dynamesh on it so we're not getting any uh, geometry pinching. And then we'll process this. So in about uh, 50 minutes, we're going to be looking at your guys' stuff on the Discord, on the art-related section. Just post whatever you're working on in there and we can critique it usually spend like two minutes on your on your stuff I'm trying to limit it to like two minutes that way I can get to a lot of you guys it's basically critiques for about an hour and then I head out So when I'm doing this part, this actually doesn't require any sculpting, so get rid of that. We'll I need to duplicate this one. Run a Dynamesh. Process, decimate. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Heading out to the living room. Cool, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's save this file. Hey, what's up, Reeds? How you doing? A few boulders on top of a pile. So the idea is that uh, there'll be like chunks of like I don't know how to how to explain it here. I'll... Right now they're very stone centric, so it's probably going to be best to run some some cuts into it and shapes that help explain. You're exhausted. What happened, Reed? I got you get in a fight with a bear. Something crazy. Uh, we need this curve brush. Cool. something like this I'm just gonna imply some By some previous usage of some sort. Um, some things like that. Swedish military service. Wait, what? Aren't they aren't they ramping that back up? All right, so that should be enough on that one. Uh, this one, maybe we'll do like a. Uh, type of pattern, I don't know. And actually we can take this, I'm gonna have to make the low poly for this one again. Uh, it's cause we're gonna end up changing the shape a lot. So what we're doing now is we're just going to kind of imply some uh, previous structure to like what, what these were. Geometry doesn't have to be amazing or anything either. Just going to try and get some of this. Gonna fill that in. Uh, you come here for the music? 
Nice. Okay, so that one's got like a a shape to it now. It's good. It's good. Um meh. Didn't I have like some alphas that I created? It's like I'm pretty sure I had some alphas. Where I put those? Is it this? Oh yeah, this is one of them. Probably want that fifty. Nice. Let's do this. For me. Semla, dude. Semla. Okay. Gotta save this so we don't crash. Yeah, if you hold shift, so if you like click and then go to drag out your line and then hold shift, you'll get a straight line. You can also go diagonal. So if you do them pretty close to each other, you'll never get like that weird uh, where it wiggles and then it takes some getting used to, but you'll get it. Before you know it, you're just doing doing all these. It's good. It's good. Yes, hold shift. Okay, so let's duplicate this and we'll process that. And then hide the one under it. Let's turn this down to like 10. Oh yeah, we probably also want to Oh, this is going to be a little messy, but uh Actually, let's do that before we decimate it. Um, you don't need these details in your high poly or in your low poly. And because you're decimating that stuff down, just like try and wipe, wipe it out if you can. This is another reason this brush is awesome. Like you don't need you don't need these in your. Essentially, what you what you'd want to do is make this mesh before. You'd want to dupe the mesh off before you start adding those details. The details that you know aren't going to be in your in your uh, low poly. Now I can process this. Actually, I probably need to dynamesh it too, so that uh, so we turn the wireframe on. Uh, no, it's okay. I guess it's okay. 
You might want to dynamesh it again because you might get some detail in there. And decimate that down, process it again, decimate it down, one more time. Cool. Deving, what's up? Oh man, you were just using Lazy Mouse? Well, there you go. Hopefully that's, sounds like that's gonna be pretty helpful to you. Sweet. Nothing much, huh? Sounds, uh, sounds nice. Wonder if I can drag out that alpha. Where is it at? This one. Good. There's like a horrible like edge to it too. Oh, thanks for the host, dude. Thank you. So I think the center part might need to be in the high poly. Let's... But the other stuff, we'll just swipe out. Like careful, careful. That should be all right. <clears throat> cool. Dynamesh. Cardboard katana. What is going on? What brush are you using for that black magic? It's uh, this the uh, trim smooth. Brush, right? That's that's what it's called. Brush, trim smooth border, with a uh, square alpha. Dude, yeah, I like to be in ZBrush because uh, you don't use it too often at work, uh, in a work environment, unless you're doing like really organic type stuff. But then again, that might be more for like props, prop artists. All right, that works for me. This one we will leave alone. Yeah, we'll leave that one alone. Aha! Aha ha ha. Chromecast doesn't work? What do you mean, man? 
That's no good. Okay, well, let's save this. And let's get the low poly meshes out of here. We'll move the... Uh, Control down arrow, huh? Awesome. All right, all the high polyers at the bottom. I'm saving a lot right now. I'm all scared. I'm scared, guys. Uh, we got our lows. Those are all low. Let's um, merge down. Merge down, merge down. All right, export. For remesh. Okay, so, yeah, back to Do some quick cleanup of this stuff. Some weird, harsh triangulations going on. We'll just get rid of them. Oh man, is the clicking really loud? I'm sorry. Do I need to, maybe I need to change my mouse. It's like, I'm like, where's my other mouse? No, it's not that bad. Oh, dude. Get all self-conscious. Like, uh. Sounds like yours when you're working. Maybe I need to uh, focus this in a bit more. If I get closer to the mic, I think it'll uh, subdue the uh, sound of the clicks a bit more. Okay, so we need to do Look at all these scripts, my god. Seneca script madness. Uh, select coplanar polys, forty degree angle. History, lazy select. Need to map a hotkey to this. Let's just let's do that F one. What is going on? I'm getting like emails and stuff. 
stab it. All right, so we F1. Basically what I'm doing is I'm deciding, so make all of these soft edged, and then we'll just start coplanar selecting and then making hard edge. Do that to show the hard edges. Oh, I don't like that. There we go, we'll just do that. It's like you're right next to him. Okay. Do you guys need me to mute the mic while I'm doing all this clicking? I don't want to kill you guys because we know that's what happens when you hear too much clicking. You die. We can't have that. I'm like, as I get more into it, I get just furious clickage. Are you guys sure? Oops. God, this, this part right here is pretty gross. I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. Be a little better. Yeah, still. Ugh. Oh. So this is one of those edges where I'm just like, well, let's just let's just get rid of that. I'll just connect that there. I only read half of comments and never get full context, dude. It's true. That's why I was like, what? Dream. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay, so with all those, you see all those hard edges. This should. I like that F1 key being like the the coplanar select. That's nice. Should be able to just uh, boom. Nice. Good enough for me. I would eat ice cubes. He's just like, it's like, dude, what are you doing? I'm eating ice cubes. It helps me concentrate. Okay. Hmm. Got a problem with that? That's awesome.
It's really bad for your teeth. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's what they say, anyways. Do I trust them? I have no idea. Oh, that's a gross edge there. So you see what I'm doing is I'm just checking the profile to kind of get an idea for how like planar it actually is. And if it if it reaches reaches a certain threshold for me, I just uh, separate it out. Yeah, I, maybe I can include those. Oh, my stomach's making noises. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Do a quick one on this. We'll see where your issues are arising. What is this guy? Join the underside. Dude, man, what's going on? Man, dude, man, guy. So this, this guy's a little weird too. Why are you so weird? There you go. We're uh, just enjoying me doing click simulator. It's good times. I'm gonna split this here. See this really long piece here, it's kind of weird. I think maybe I'll just include it in the top. This is kind of, mm. All right, let's try that. Where's that? It's another one of those long pieces. There. Cookie clicker simulator. <gasps> ah. Thoughts on Horizon Zero Dawn? Uh, I think that I need to play it and I need to stream it so we can actually analyze their uh, their composition and stuff. I think the game looks pretty. I haven't played it. Reviews sound good. It's about, it's about all you're going to get from me, though. I don't know. Home stretch. Home stretch. Oh, this guy still looks a little on the high poly side. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it, guys.
What I don't like is that uh, the way it's separating everything. Like, see, it's much cleaner than like that. GG. What's up, Bumby? How you doing? Do I wonder when I'm gonna get another cartoon version of myself? Did you miss any rocks? <laughs> Man, that's all the stream's ever been about. <laughs> I apologize, but I'm not sorry. Whatever that means. I'm just unwrapping these guys and then we're gonna get a, a, a bake bake out of this and then it'll be time to critique uh, your guys' stuff you're, you're doing some rocks and ZBrush as well? nice cut this let's do that and then we'll just yes yes oh man some crazy weirdness uh, I'm getting a lot of comments on my YouTube channel specifically about uh, my voice like I don't even I don't even 3d man I'm just there for your voice it's like it's like people tell me that at work as well it's it's pretty intense Sexy as fuck. Oh yeah. All them ladies sliding off their computer chairs, including Dude Man. I want to say something, but I don't know what to say. Once you heard, you were like, oh, I knew it was him. And then you're like, wait a minute. He didn't fucking know where Sweden was? That son of a bitch. He's going down. I was like, no, spare me, spare my ignorance, man. I know now, I know. You know what a lot of Americans think that uh, Sweden is? I can't even... What, what's the country? It's a funny assumption. They think... They think Sweden is where all the good chocolate is. Like... 
some some people that I talk to still think that I'm actually like there. Yeah, they think I'm in Switzerland. Oh, dude, it's like it's crazy. Aliens. Switzerland? Switch Switzerland? It's pretty amazing. Like, huh? I want to know why we think that. Cuz it's not just like one or two of my friends. It's like they're like, "Oh, so how's like how's Switzerland?" Is, it, is the chocolate good? It's like, eh. <laughs> Do I tell him? I, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> wow, this one's a bit more tedious. I don't like this. I don't like this tediousness. We know good spelling. It's okay. Okay, so that's isolated. That one's isolated. This one's kind of long, so we're just going to break that one there. Uh, isolated, isolated, isolated. This is looking... Let's try it out. Oh, where's this one? Where's this guy at? Where you at? Where you at, fool? Got you. Where's this guy at? Mm, all right, you're getting included with this one. Let's try it again. Danny, thanks for the follow, by the way. It's like vacation, dude. True story. Uh, the mic I'm using is a blue, a blue, uh, what's this? I'm reading chat. What do you get? What's Chris saying about my voice? True story. What about what? I have a super bright voice. He has sick bass boost on his mic though. A blue yeti. Yeah, it's just where it's the boxes above me somewhere. Or no, what is this? This one's like a studio one. This, like this. I always forget the names of these fancy things. They don't help me 3D, so I just am like, I don't need to know the name of this thing. Because <laughs> that's, that's logic, right? Yeah. Whoa. That's a harsh angle. Wait, what? Okay, that actually needs to be separated. And added to this one. Yeah, this is a Yeti, I know that. It says blue on it, it's a, it's a company. It's a studio, I think this one's a studio one. What is going on here? Oh. That's better, okay, we'll leave that. That one's okay now. We'll hide that. Save. Last one. Oh yeah, here's one thing about uh, Moto I like. So if you marquee select, like this, with your center click, you back face select. If you hold down the right click instead of center click to do it, it's the marquee selection with back face calling. Which 
which is super nice. And I like being able to paint select, that's really nice too. As long as it captures his voice, that's all we need. Oh, Chris, what does a bright voice mean? What's, what's that? What is a bright voice? I've never heard that as a description. Oh, I'm going to bake them all at once, just because, I mean, they're all separated already, so it's kind of like they're exploded. So I'll share the same, the same, uh, same UV set and all that stuff, too. Trying to get this last one done. We'll throw it in painter really fast and then we'll look at your guys' stuff. Let's see where. Okay, that's good. This is bad. Cool, cool, cool. Not cool. I feel like this guy could get nasty. We'll see. I think maybe uh, what I'll do is something like that. All right, round one. That guy's pretty rough. Split there. This one's kind of long. I'll split there. That's okay, that's okay. Oh. Yeah, no, my yeah, my my voice is uh, like when I'm when I'm normally talking, it's 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 higher pitched for sure. Uh, when I when I get relaxed and I'm I'm now talking like a relaxed Jeremy, then then you get the full full on Dynasty Empire voice. So like my voice is really like this, but then when I relax, it gets deeper. And then this is just me relaxed. I'm like that radio voice that's trying to make Chris Radsby's pants melt off with the sheer power of the deepness of my voice. Did it work, Chris? I'm using my other voice now to try and freeze them before they come off. Mm. 
Oh, you like Empire? You like that? Cool. Okay, let's uh, let's try this out. I might do some cleanup work on the, all this stuff. We have all these guys. We can do a save. We'll select all the edges. We'll do an unwrap. We'll do a uh, relax. And we'll do a pack. And I need to select all that. Not relax. Well, no. We need to relax this. Okay. Chris is going to come in naked tomorrow. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm down. Well, that's all types of crooked. YOLO. We'll look at it. Uh, I'll fix this off stream. So let's, uh, let's grab this. Let's, uh, what was the, there we go. Rubble for a substance painter. Tengu, thank you for the follow. Welcome. All right, Painter, where you at? Where you at? I need to update Painter, too. I believe there's some baking updates, but, well, for another day. I seem to have lost my pants. <laughs> Very good? No, no. We'll, uh, we'll solve that later. Whoops, we don't need that. We need to select the rubble for a substance painter. I need to go into ZBrush. Save this. Gonna merge down, merge down, merge down. Okay, here's the high polys. Let's export those out. Rubble, high poly. Uh, do I think Moto Indie is worth getting? So a lot of Moto requires a lot of scripts and like custom stuff, and I believe in Indie you can't really use those. Uh, indie is worth it, I think, if you're learning Moto and and whatnot. They need to they need to make a student version. That would be so awesome. Has no UV coordinates. Wait, what the French toast? Hang on here. Uh, maybe that's why. Or bake. I'm getting all the alerts for people's birthdays right now. Where is UV? Where is UV? There's those guys. Let's go to the texture. Let's uh, bake textures. Hi, Polly. Let's see what happens. Dude. Dude. What's what's the dude? Whoop, that's bad. Got some weird, weird bakes coming through. <laughs> Everything's black. Very good. Okay, make sure that's there. I think. Positionally, I'm losing information on this guy. Uh, hmm. Wait, 
wait, why? I don't, I'm not following. Oh, holy shit. Okay, that's why. There's a ton of UVs. Uh, there's a ton of UV sets in there. Did you see that? <laughs> mm, vertex maps, there we go. Yeah, we want that one, so we gotta get rid of this one and get rid of that one. Okay. go <laughs> glorious uvs yeah let's uh we'll get rid of that okay here's the hoping first bake is awesome usually it's it's like a 50 50 make this uh, 1024 okay so while this is going let me find the discord let's see what's going down Oh yeah, I also found out that pins once limited to 50 don't actually uh, don't actually uh, remove the lowest one. All right, these look I mean these look all right. Cool. I wonder if my uh, smart ma smart material will work on this guy. I don't know which one's the most up-to-date one. I need to name those better. Cool, that works. I'll, I'll need to make a better, this is like, this material looks all exaggerated and shit. What's this one like? What's happening? Cool. Okay. Well, I will take care of these off stream and then we will continue on with that. Uh, I'm going to switch now to work in progress stuff. So give me a, give me a moment guys. He already grew up guys. He's got like a moss beard and everything. Josh, you're, you're doing a okay, man. Nice job. All right. I will be right back and we will, uh, we'll get to critiques.